Donald Trump is about to turn 71. He is the oldest US president to assume office, and some people have started to worry about his health. There's even been speculations that he has the early signs of Alzheimer's. Here, Theresa May appears to be helping Trump down some steps. Symptoms of Alzheimer's include dizziness, paranoia, delusions and hallucinations, memory loss and confusion, making up stories and impulsive behavior. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. I really don't want to make light of this though. Alzheimer's is a very sad disease. It's thought to be caused by the buildup of proteins in the brain. The patient then usually dies around 10 years after their diagnosis. Donald Trump's father died only six years after his diagnosis with Alzheimer's. One of the symptoms of Alzheimer's is difficulties with language. A recent paper showed you were able to diagnose Alzheimer's by looking at the patterns in the way people talk with an incredible accuracy of 92%. So I thought I'd try this with Trump. I downloaded a collection of his interviews along with 240 interviews with Alzheimer's patients and an additional 233 interviews with healthy participants. I then used machine learning to predict how likely it is that he has Alzheimer's. I found 25 different indicators among the Alzheimer's patients. Here are the five that are most predictive of Alzheimer's. I know words, I had the best words. It won't be surprising to learn that one of the biggest predictors of Alzheimer's is the size of the vocabulary and the length of the words used. When compared to Obama, Trump uses about half as many longer length words in his interviews. Obama! <laughs> Non-specific nouns and pronouns are words like this, they, them, her, him, thing. They're often used by an Alzheimer's patient to replace a noun that they can't remember. This thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. A numeric modifier is, for example, when you use a quantity to change the meaning of a noun. For example, Susan won the race by 20 yards. I found in the Alzheimer's patients that they were less likely to use these. They would use a much more generic term instead. Many, 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 oh, many, 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 many more. Believe me, I have so many. An adposition is a type of phrase that expresses either a spatial or temporal relation. For example, Ryan could see her in the room, or she walked around the desk. Again, these were the types of details that were less common in the interviews with the Alzheimer's patients. And finally, conjunctions. These are words like and, or, and, but. I'm guessing these are more common because they allow the Alzheimer's patient to link together simpler phrases when trying to form more complex sentences. And, and I said, and, 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 and we're gonna be back, and I'll tell you what. And when you combine all these indicators together, what you get is a way of predicting Alzheimer's. I tested my predictions on that data set that I mentioned at the start. I found that my model was 90% accurate when predicting between the Alzheimer's patients and the healthy participants. So what does this mean for Trump? I ran my model on 38 interviews with Trump, and I found that 79% of them came back predicting Alzheimer's. It's worth saying I did the same with Obama, and none of his came back like this. I also tried my models on some older interviews with Trump, and they came back predicted to be in the healthy group. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. I would like to say, though, that the interviews carried out with the Alzheimer's patients were very different format to those that you would have with the press. Also, the size of the data set means this could be prone to overfitting. The more in-depth analysis is needed. However, I think the decline in Trump's ability to express himself it's pretty apparent. Trump steaks. Where are the steaks? Do we have steaks? We have Trump steaks. He said the steak company. And we have Trump steaks. Anyway, please let me know your thoughts. And finally, I'd like to give a big shout out to Thomas Hirschman from BrainGraph.com. A big thanks for working with me on this. There's a link to their website in the description of this video.